Welcome back, learners. So now to sum up everything that transpired in this lesson, we're just going to start by looking at our concept map. And we started by, by looking at the main idea being the electricity generation. And we further went on to look at how it is generated by using alternative energy, uh, or by, using, by, by looking at alternative electricity generation sources. We also looked at the national electricity grid, whereby we looked at things like load shedding, how is load shedding affected, and why is it even affected. Now, furthermore, we also used words such as alternative energy, ESCOM, national electricity grid, and power station, whereby each of those now mean, first of all, the alternative energy, that's now a form of energy which is different to the main energy source used in the country. And then ESCOM, that's the Electricity Supply Commission of South Africa, which is a value, a value which is not exact. And then the National Electricity Grid, that's now the network of cables, pylons, and transformers which transfer electricity throughout the country. And then lastly, power station. That's now a system for generating electricity. So whenever you think of this lesson, whenever you go back to this lesson, these are the very most important things that I want you to always remember whenever you are thinking about this lesson. Number one, most power stations in South Africa use fuel or fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gases. These, these are used to supply houses and factories with electricity. Furthermore, Radioactive fuel is used for electricity generation at a nuclear power station such as Quebec, which is found in the Western Cape here in South Africa. Remember that this is the only one that we, that we have in the entire African continent and it is found right here in South Africa in the Western Cape. And then lastly, due to energy loss at, energy loss at higher current strength, Step-up transformers are used at a power station to increase voltages to as high as 750,000 volts. Now remember, we can use the two, the two transformers being the step-up transformer and the step-down transformer to either increase the voltage or to decrease the voltage uh, to what we want to, uh, to use. If, you, if, you, if the voltage that is received it is um, higher than 240 to 200, between 240 to 200 and if the voltage that we are that we are, that we are receiving is higher than the range of 220 to 240 volts, then it, it therefore needs to be stepped down. However, should the voltage, the incoming voltage, be lower than this range, it therefore needs to be stepped up. It can be stepped up in those respective transformers, either a step-up transformer or a step-down transformer. So. With all the questions answered for you, this is the only question that I want you answer to answer. That I want you to answer for me, and the question is: How is the cost of electricity calculated? You're going to answer this question for me, and I will see you next time with my answer. And until then, goodbye.